Hey, it's Keith. Um, listen, I wanted to talk uh, to those of you who are struggling. Uh, you're really f excited about Organic Church or House Church. Um, you've looked around, you've asked around, you can't find um, anything in your area. There's not already one close by you. And you're kind of like, now what? Like, I don't feel like I fit in at traditional church, so I don't, I'm not really probably going there. Or if I am, I kind of grit my teeth. Uh, but I'm really looking to do an organic church or a house church model, uh, but I can't find one, and I'm kind of just waiting around for I don't know what. I'm waiting, I guess, for an expert to show up or someone to start one in my area or to discover there's one down the street or, you know, maybe the next town over. Uh, what do I do? <clears throat> so I, I hope this video will help you if that's where you're at and that's where you find yourself. Um, the first thing I want to encourage you about is, number one, you're not alone. Uh, and I mean that in two or three ways. I mean that, it, well, in one way, I mean there are a lot of people just like you, and you can connect to them on, online. And I would recommend going to the Organic Church Movement Facebook group. That's why I had me in that group. Um, and you can at least have some online connections with people uh, who are, again, like you, excited about Organic Church and House Church, but don't have anyone physically to meet with. The second thing that I want to say you're not alone is I really do believe, and maybe in only very special cases, that you're the only person in your town who feels this way. You're the only person in your community or your city or whatever that, that feels unwelcome or un, you know, uh, fulfilled in traditional church, yearns for the ecclesia in organic church, and is waiting for someone else to start one. And I, I'm really, I feel like I can, I can promise you that. You're not the only one. You just haven't met the other person yet. And maybe one of the ways you could meet them would be you could start one in your home. And then you could invite people or find ways to, you know, put it on the internet, put it on meetup.com or go to the local Christian bookstore if they have a little community board and put it up on the bulletin board. Hey, curious about house church? Give me a call or email me, you know. I'm telling you, if you do that, I really do believe you're going to find people. Maybe you've done that, and you say, Keith, I've tried that. I've tried everything I can think of. There just isn't anybody. If they are, I can't find them. Okay, so if that's you, here's the other thing I would encourage you to do. Um, lower your expectations in the sense that, to, like, like to say, oh, for, for this to be real, it has to be 10 people. You know, for this to be real, we've got to, I've got to have this huge community or this, you know, a, a 10 to 15 to 20 people or something. Um, you know, when we started our house church 11 years ago, it was really just me and my wife and our two little boys. And on Sunday mornings, we were meeting in our home on Sunday mornings. And we had a Thursday night group that met, but even then it was maybe only, you know, four or five people. And so... It's okay if in the beginning, for example, it's just you and your wife, or maybe you and a good friend, if you're not married, you know, or if your wife or your, your husband isn't, you know, feeling called to this. But I would just encourage you to meet with whoever you can. And maybe it's just you and the Lord. And you know what? If it is, if it's just you and the Lord, then but set aside the time and still do it. Still set aside an hour or two to focus on Jesus either alone or with one other person or maybe two other people. Again, it's okay to be small. Don't despise uh, the day of small beginnings, right? Um, it's okay to start small uh, and to faithfully, as you come together, again, w with, with whoever will meet with you, but to do it on a consistent basis. And, be, and, and part of what you should be doing is praying, Lord, increase our number. Add to the church daily, uh, you know, Help us find them and help them to find us. The other people that are near uh, where you live in your community who are hungry and thirsty for the same thing that you're hungry for. Um, I would also say this, that I think, and I, I touched on this at the Unconference in Nashville, um, that I, I think there is, there's a problem where sometimes what happens is we're waiting for the expert, we're waiting for the guru, we're waiting for the apostle or someone to show up, to roll into town, and to, to do some big church planting thing because they're the expert. Uh, please don't do that. 
I, I don't I don't believe in that. I, our group didn't start that way. We just felt God calling us. We stepped out. We started doing it. God started bringing people to us. Um, I do think you need to pray about it. I do think you need to be sure that the Holy Spirit really has spoken to you about doing this. But I believe if you if you are convinced that the Holy Spirit is drawing you in this direction and, and there is no other, uh, you know, no one else has stepped forward to do this, uh, I would encourage you that the expert you're waiting for is living inside of you. That Jesus, who's the one who, by the way, builds the church, builds the ecclesia, uh, he's alive within you. And trusting him moment by moment, day by day, to, to do the building, to do the gathering, to do the leading, uh, is the best thing you can do. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, so I would encourage you, if you're still searching for something, you don't have a community yet, start small and be consistent. If it's just you and the Lord, do that. If it's just you and your spouse, do that. And your kids, do that. You and one other person, two other people, do that. And start small, but do it with the expectation that the Lord will build uh, his ecclesia. He will honor your stepping out in faith to do what little you can. What it is is a demonstration of your hunger and your thirst and your intention to move in this direction. And I would encourage you to do that. Uh, and I may do a few others in this series, um, just very practical things I would suggest, but I really couldn't give you better advice than this. Um, just sit, start small, start simply, be consistent, seek the Lord, pray, and ask Him. Um, and just take the first step, and then take the second step, and see what the Lord does. And I would love if you would do that, if you've done that, uh, especially if you do that after listening to this video, and share testimonies. Let me know if God does add to your number daily. Let me know if God does honor um, that step of faith, okay? I'd appreciate it. And we'll talk soon. God bless. Bye-bye.